hello my dear students so we are today here to understand about how to run our python lab program in jupyter notebook so for that we need to start the jupyter notebook so kindly type j u p y t e r so it will automatically show here in the start menu so right click on that so it will put on the jupyter notebook server on to to run this uh, software there is no requirement of any internet connectivity so it will be there uh, installed in your computer system so this is the home page of the jupyter notebook so here you can see all the different uh, folders available in your current system what you can observe so here we need to create a new folder uh, to keep our files so i'm going to click on the new so here you it will be giving an option for creating what type of thing you want to create i want to create a folder so there is a folder being created here you can see untitled folder to rename this you can do go for clicking on the check box option here go upside and you can see there is a rename option available click on rename you can put you can do rename accordingly your wish so i would uh, like to rename it as lab programs okay and press the rename so here you can see <coughs> a lab program for folder is created to get inside this folder kindly make your mouse pointer to move on the particular name of the file folder it will show the hand uh, option icon so click on it so it will get inside the folder so here in i will start executing my program to keep categorized your lab programs differentially so you can just create different uh, folders here for example for this i can rename it as uh, program number 1 so here this in this we have uh, we will keep about my program number 1 so now how to execute my program number 1 okay so here i will create a new notebook or else you can say like a new python file so i will click on the option python 3 ipy kernel so it will get you to the ipy kernel that is where we can execute our python program so here we got created a new notebook wherein we can execute our program so here you can see there are different cell options available you can either add up a new cell okay or either you can delete the new cell either you can delete the new cell so now i want to execute a program in this or else before that we can even change the name of the notebook where it is showing it as untitled you can click on it and you can see option wherein i can rename so you can rename it as program number 1 and press rename okay so here you can go back to your uh, folder repository where you have already created your file <coughs> so here is my program available 1a so i am going to copy this control c will help me to copy the file and i am going back to my jupyter notebook and i am going to place my mouse pointer here to check the, to get the console option and press control v or else you can say you can keep it here and right click on it you can see paste option available so once you paste it your program will be pasted completely here now to run my this program either you can go for the shortcut key control shift or else here is a button available called as run so if you press run it will ask you to enter the first test marks so make your mouse pointer click on this and enter the first test marks so as usual you know about the first program is for getting the average of the first Uh, best of the two test marks available average of best two test marks available so first uh, marks have entered as 45 press enter it will ask for the second test marks press 40 i means i am giving an option as 40 again press enter uh, it will ask for the third test mark i am giving it as 48 so best among these three are 48 and 45 so it should get the average between 48 and 45 so here it is showing the output as 46.5 so this is how we can execute 
the lab program so for suppose if you want to go back either you can just close the file and you can just see that in your program number one folder you can see your first notebook available so to run out so uh, this is what the uh, lab program number one we have this is for one uh, a program one a you can just rename it as program one a <coughs> Or else, and then so the next time, once you are uh, going to create a new notebook, so there you can give it as program number one B, okay. So while uh, renaming it at the beginning, so here you can give it as program program one B and uh, press rename. So here you can again go to your the files where you are stored, or else you can type a new program there. So just I am copy pasting here. So this is the one B program, one B program, and again go for a paste option. So here we are going to give the number which will detect the palindrome, whether the number is palindrome or not, and how many number of uh, what means like how many number of times it has been repeating each number of uh, okay, and it is one to one how many times it is repeating. So to run this program, either you can click press run here. So it will ask for the enter the number. So I will enter it as one two one, and I will press enter on my keyboard. So it is showing the reverse of the one two one is one two one itself, and the number one two one is palindrome. So here it is showing one has appeared two times. You can see one is appearing two times, and two has appeared a uh, one time. So this is the output of the second program, right? So like this we can execute our pro lab programs in Jupyter Notebook. Thank you.